Hi, my name is Hayley Kruger and I'm a student at the University of Wollongong studying a Bachelor of Psychological Science majoring in Sociology. Per the requirements of my capstone course, I am here today to present to you a short film discussing the social determinants of alcohol dependence. This short film is intended to be utilised as a preventative tool to minimise early alcohol experimentation and to decrease the severity of accompanying health-related issues later in life. In addition, this film aims to visually convey the effects of what long-term alcohol consumption can do to a person's lifestyle, interpersonal relationships, including mental and physical health and well-being, whilst incorporating sociological thinking and perspectives. Alcohol dependence is a phenomenon I have witnessed firsthand. I've worked in the hospitality industry for the last seven years now, and I have seen the damaging effects of alcohol dependence firsthand. In my position, I have routinely served the same patrons some sort of alcoholic beverage, starting from 9am in the morning on a daily basis. I've seen what it can do to a person's stability, their health and well-being, their everyday activities and their interpersonal relationships. In this respect, it's a topic I feel very passionate about. Why is drinking alcohol a problem then? When alcohol is not drunk responsibly, meaning in large amounts and in particular large amounts over an extended period of time, alcohol then becomes a problem, not just to the individual becoming dependent on the substance, but to society and its structures. To elaborate, a 2015 report from Vic Health has indicated that on a macro scale, excessive drinking contributes to violence, criminal activity and abuse within society and its structures. In addition, the same report has indicated that on a micro scale, excessive drinking has been linked to deteriorating mental and physical health, including serious injuries and even death. It is important to note that the same report from Vic Health 2015 has determined that individuals from a lower socioeconomic status are far more likely to endure the health related problems that are associated with excessive alcohol consumption. This is because they may have scarce access to or knowledge of healthcare services. I would just like to quickly highlight in more detail the various mental and physical health related implications of excessive alcohol consumption. Researchers Mork et al. 2020 found from examining the mental and physical health of those dependent on alcohol that excessive alcohol consumption can eventually lead to depression, anxiety, psychosis and antisocial behaviours, as well as the progression of chronic and even cancerous diseases to the mouth, throat and liver, just to name a few. This then brings me to ask what are the social determinants of alcohol dependence? It is firstly important to know what a determinant is. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary website, a determinant is a factor that identifies or determines the nature of something. Therefore, we will be discussing what are the social factors that contribute to one's dependence on alcohol. These factors include lifestyle, social relationships, childhood trauma, and socioeconomic status, all of which will be discussed shortly but first, I just want to quickly talk about how you can sociologically understand the dysfunctional nature of alcohol dependence. This can be achieved by utilizing the symbolic interactionist paradigm. This approach looks at very specific relationships among individuals within a society. Furthermore, this approach attempts to connect the underlying patterns formed within interpersonal relationships, social structures and social phenomena. Theorists who utilise this approach claim that people assign deeper meanings to the people, places and things within society and act accordingly to their subjective interpretations of the interactions. So, for example, in Australia, consuming alcohol and even consuming excessive amounts of alcohol is often deemed acceptable and even encouraged in almost all social settings. And under the symbolic interactionist paradigm, the dysfunctional nature of alcohol dependence can be examined in environments where excessive drinking is seen as socially acceptable. A person will then attach positive meanings to their drinking experiences, and thus the continuation of this behaviour leads to a dependence. Now that we understand how we are going to sociologically analyse alcohol dependence, 
let's talk about the social determinants that may facilitate in the development of dependence and analyze the determinants through a symbolic interactionist lens. The determinants that I would like to talk about first are lifestyle and interpersonal relationships. Researchers Usoro et al. 2018 have concluded that the type of lifestyle and the types of interpersonal relationships in which a person affiliates with can shape a person's identity. By associating this piece of literature with alcohol consumption, it can be inferred that excessive alcohol consumption may become embedded into a person's identity through either adhering to peer norms or engaging in stressful or quote unquote, the party lifestyle. By looking at lifestyle and interpersonal relationships through the symbolic interactionist lens, it can be inferred that through positive meaningful signals, the socialization processes and behaviors that friends and family justify and accept as quote unquote normal can facilitate in the development of alcohol dependence. This is because the positive and meaningful signals given by one's social interactions leads to the continuation of excessive drinking and thus a dependence may occur. Moving on, the determinants that I would now like to talk about are childhood trauma and socioeconomic status. Researchers Johnson 2006 and Fuller Thompson et al. 2016 have concluded that there is a link between childhood trauma, socioeconomic status and alcohol dependence. To elaborate, the literature presented by these researchers has shown that exposure to substance abuse, whether it be drugs or alcohol, in the family home, particularly in low socioeconomic households, is said to be a significant determinant of alcohol dependency in later life, as children serve to model their behaviour after authoritative figures. In addition, this research has shown that due to their fiscal difficulties, individuals with a lower socioeconomic status are more likely to suffer from more adverse and challenging situations in their life. And a stressful lifestyle can induce a problematic drinking pattern, as previously indicated. It can therefore be inferred that excessive alcohol consumption in later life may be used as a coping mechanism to escape from personal problems and feelings of hopelessness and meaninglessness, as indicated in the Mork et al. 2020 study. And thus, excessive drinking may not only be a response to escape from unresolved trauma, but it can be inferred that such a behaviour is an imitation of key authority figures from childhood, as demonstrated under the framework of symbolic interactionism. In conclusion, based on the information provided today, it can be said that the dysfunctional nature of alcohol dependence may be a symbol of imitation-like behaviour prescribed by the socially acceptable interactions formed within one's social network, as seen under the framework of symbolic interactionism. The point of this short film is not to suggest that you should abstain from alcohol entirely, but to demonstrate that alcohol should be drunk responsibly and in moderation. I would just like to end this short film by saying that if you or someone you know is struggling with alcohol, please do not feel scared to reach out. There are people and free and confidential support services out there who care for you and your loved one's well-being.